we use persuasion in everyday life, whether we're talking to strangers or talking to our friends. Kevin Hogan, who wrote 22 books, he's an international public speaker, consultant, and a corporate trainer. He wrote the book, The Psychology Persuasion, which tells us the nine different laws or principles that we use in persuasion every day. The first law he teaches us is the law of reciprocity, and that's when you give something of, uh, when someone gives you something of perceived value and you have the desire to give something back. For example, Christmas presents, when someone gives you a present and you have the desire to give something back of equal value. Other examples include tipping for restaurants or taxi cabs. The second law is the law of contrast. It's when two items are placed who are relatively different are placed near each other, they seem even more different. For example, two homes in the same neighborhood. If a real estate agent is showing you homes in the same neighborhood, she'll show you one that is a lot cheaper in earlier in the day than the one she'll show you later, which are more expensive. It's usually because people tend to remember what the last thing they saw or something that seems better than, than something shown earlier. Another example is donating time and money. If people ask you to donate a little bit of time to help someone or volunteer somewhere, they would say, if you like to donate your time, please do so. If you don't have time, you can also donate some money. Just a flat out donation. And the third law is the law of friends. As when someone asks you to do something and they think that person has your best interests and vice versa. For example, door-to-door -door donations. When you're trying to get your business going, you want to get it around the whole neighborhood, People, someone will hire someone in that neighborhood, so instead of a stranger going door-to-door, -door, uh, these neighbors won't trust a stranger to give out a flat-out donation. So they will ask someone in the neighborhood who knows them and ask them to go door-to-door, -door and they will pay them. The fourth law is the law of expectancy. It's when someone you respect asks you to do a task, and you will perform that task whether it's positive or negative. For example, in 1991, the Israeli citizens were given gas masks in, in case Iraq uh, decides to use a chemical weapon against Israel. Um, so, in but later in, 90, in January 1991, their Iraq attacked Israel and people started going to the hospital saying they feel seeing they feel the symptoms of a chemical weapon but in reality no chemical weapon was used it's the opposite of a placebo effect law number 5 is the law of association it's when products services or ideas are endorsed by other people we like or respect for example like celebrities and diet uh, promoting diet pepsi or different kinds of shoes. We would like to buy those items because it's our, our favorite celebrity that we like or respect and promoting an item and we tend to buy them. Law number six is the law of consistency. It's when a person announces their position on any issue and will defend it no matter whether it, it is accurate or not. For example, President Bush in this campaign said that he will make sure he will not decrease tax, increase taxes. But when he was finally elected, he increased taxes, which lost him a lot of popular or popular votes. Like President um, President Clinton also lost a lot of credibility when he said that when he started promoting everything that was inconsistent in his campaign. Law number seven is the law of scarcity, which is when something is limited, when they want something is limited in quantity, person perceives the value of what they want is a greater value. For example, when television say, television advertisers say limited time only, or, or limited to per person, that's the example of law of scarcity. Law number eight is the law of conformity. It's when an individual is more likely to, to agree to proposals that are well received by a majority of other people. So an example of this is when we are in a meeting and your boss asks you if he gives a proposal of his new idea and he asks everyone in the in the room if they like the idea. A lot of people will raise their hand and say they like the idea. 
the majority of those people would say that they're only raising their hands because everyone else is raising their hands, not because they actually like the MU idea. The final and the final law is the law of power. It's when people with greater strength, fame, or expertise or authority have power over people who who accept this perception of that person. An example is like a doctor has power over a patient because they have more training being a doctor than that patient does. So in conclusion, the, all uh, the psychology persuasion has the nine laws, the law of reciprocity, the law of contrast, the law of friends, the law of expectancy, and the, the law of association, the law of consistency, the law of scarcity, the law of conformity, and the law of power.